cross country. No timeouts, no substitutes, just pure constant effort and adrenaline. It's been an exciting season for Elon's men's and women's teams, joining a new conference and adding new coach Nick Polk right before the season started. Um, Elon was a place that I, I could go into and, and be a head coach um, at the Division I level and with a program I thought I could really make a lot better and improve. And, and that's something I've brought to the team is sort of a, you know experience, I've been in their shoes. And, and the other thing I'm bringing I think is a laid back approach to day to day um, life with them but also we're training really hard. Coach Polk has encouraged the team to work harder than they've ever worked before, but the runners have responded well to the pressure. The men and women swept their first two meets, both of them at home. Everybody has started out really strong, um, and so we are big believers in momentum, so um, that positivity and that confidence that you gain from the successes early on really help in later meets throughout the season. We came in, uh, raced pretty pretty quickly off the bat from when I got here and saw some improvements in the first race. Our second meet was the Elon invite at home and we had almost every man and woman on the team PR. Um, and then we went to Raleigh uh, to NC State um, Invitational and had a, an awesome race. We hit the ground running. You know, Luis just won his third um, CAA runner of the week out of four weeks, I believe, four or five weeks. So that's awesome. And we won our first uh, two women CAA runners of the week. So. Uh, but those are things that I expected, those are things that I, I wanted and I want to move on to, you know, bigger and better things down, down the line. Luis Vargas won the first CAA Athlete of the Week honor in Elon history and has now won the title three times. Fellow captain Elise Beirut has also earned Runner of the Week honors this season. Uh, it, feels, it feels good. Um, I think the best part of it is that I get to represent Elon um, at a national level we're going to you know pretty big meets where especially Notre Dame where there's a lot of schools from all over the nation and so all, everyone else you know sees that you know we do have a good program and um, it's just nice to give back to the school that's given me so much. It's definitely good to um, for a program to get that attention and kind of show the whole conference oh like Elise and Luis and these teams like they have good people. Luis is a special athlete um, I spend a lot of time you know, watching him, working with him, figuring out training, and talking about him because he does such a good job. He has, he has what it takes mentally and physically, and he's nowhere near what his capabilities are, and I think he's slowly starting to gain the confidence in realizing that. It's so awesome. Luis is such a great guy, and he's such a hard worker, and he so deserves these honors that he's had three times now, so um, it's really awesome to be honored alongside him. Elise is an, an, another really, really good runner, and she has all the tools to be successful. Um, she's, she came in, and we've been working together really well, and she had a, a breakthrough race for her at, um, at Raleigh at NC State, and um, it was just a, a moment for her that she'd been waiting for for a couple of years to sort of break through like she did. So. Uh, Elise is great. She's uh, really inspirational um, at practices since we practice together. Um, it's always really um, nice to, you know, look over while I'm you know taking a rest and just seeing the women work really hard and uh, Elise is always she's not only a great runner but she's a great captain. As they prepare for their championship meets the Elon runners plan to take the program farther than it's ever gone before. I think if we keep working hard like we are and working each day to make it the best um, the best that we can be on that day that really good things are in store for us at the end of the season. In our sport, we have like three, four races, and then it's our championship season. And so, you know, we work really hard the whole um, season, just training, just uh, for that one race. And so that's where we're going to lay it all out there in the field. There's good things in store. The team's rounding into shape really well. So uh, my expectations are that everything will go according to plan. <laughs>